live from my sofa and I'm back from being out in the woods. If you haven't already, check out the video before this one. It's pretty awesome. It's a story of how I came about all of these bottles that I'm about to show you. There's a link in the description as well. So I'm going to fill in this video ashen style. I've got a nice grey sofa here where I'm going to showcase all me all the bottles that I've found over the years. So yeah, let's have a look at the bottles. Whoa! I'm in my tiny little backyard. <laughs> and the sun's went down. It's been a very, very sunny day today, as you can probably tell if you've watched the other video. This is where I keep all of my old bottles that I've found. Got bottles in there, bottles in here. So I'm going to get them all out and we're going to have a look at them. Yeah, these bottles have been cleaned before, but since then they've been left outside for like an hour four years. I'll try and read the bottles, but... They're all dirty again, so it's going to take quite some reading of some of them. But I'll give it a try. Okay, here comes the Ashen Style video. Okay, I've got the mat here to stop any dirt from getting on the clean sofa. <laughs> so first, we've got the two bottles that were found on the previous trip. Link in the description if you want to see it. So the first bottle we found is this sauce bottle, which doesn't have any marks on it. It has a top, but it's really badly mangled. There's no way you can make anything out on that. But even though it's like, even though it's quite damaged, it's still nice to get an intact bottle. I love bottle digging there. I'm definitely going back. And this one's a jam jar, which also doesn't have any labels, but it's intact. That's pretty cool. Next up, we have this jam jar. It doesn't have any labels on, but that's the only one of its type of found. All the rest had ridges in, but this one was flat. He has a jam jar with ridges in. So chunky these jam jars. Honestly, like stone jam jars. <laughs> if they're not jam jars, please let us know because I'm only presuming the jam jars. If anyone knows antiques and knows if this is a jam jar or something else, then let us know in the comments. We've got this very smoky bottle and it's got bubbles in the bottom. You can tell it's old because modern bottles don't really have bubbles on them. It's got no marks on, but. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty gross, pretty mucky this one, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Must have been a wine bottle. We've got this one, which has J. Wilkinson, RAC, A10, Gateshead. <laughs> you can tell where the, the bottle's from. Close to home, close to home. JL Co. Limited, DC, it's got A10 written on. <laughs> 628. If anyone can value, tell us the value of these bottles by the details and stuff, then let us know about that as well, because I'm hoping to sell some of them at one point, like, I've kept them for so many years, and I don't even know why I'm keeping them, like, I'm not going to display them or anything, like, I'll definitely sell them. Oh yeah, and it's got that cool snazzy logo on. Looks like a pharmaceutical, sort of. It's got like a G and it's got like ribbon and things through it. Pretty cool. We've got this now. This has definitely got to be a sauce bottle. It's got no words on, but look at the shape. There's another bottle, which doesn't have any uh, words on. Pretty cool though. Now this is a small bottle, but I really like this one. And it's Daddy's. Oh, I wonder what that is. <laughs> it's obviously sauce. Daddy's sauce. This has to be like one of the first Daddy's sauce bottles ever to be produced or something like that. <laughs> It'll be all Grandpa's sauce now. Because of how old it is. <laughs> There's an large jam jar similar to the last one I looked at. And this one has a big M and some numbers on. There's an last smoky bottle. Oh my god, there's a spider on the mat. <laughs> Hello little guy. Jessup and Frostan has got a picture of a castle on. I really like that picture. That's pretty awesome. Langley Bridge, Durham. Ooh, it's a Durham bottle. That must be worth quite a bit. It's a pretty cool bottle, that one. Got this, it looks like it's been... Hmm. Don't know what that could have been. An N06 and a big P. 
and four at the bottom. If you think you know, let us know in the comments. And the square bottle. It looks like it's very similar to the last bottle, but this one hasn't got a top. And the jam jar. Ooh, it's got a strange ring at the bottom of that one. Interesting. That's a cool looking bottle, but I think the top's got broken a little bit, which is a shame because that would have been a really nice bottle if it wasn't tacked. Oh god. They've been left outside for too long, I'm gonna have to give them another wash. That one's got 50 written on the bottom. I think it's 50. I used to do research on antiques and I, I studied what all the numbers meant and then I've completely forgot what they meant. But I know they do have something to do with the bottle and stuff, like you can value it by the numbers. Here's a cool bottle, it's like gingerish brown coloured. A really dark gingerish brown, and it's got silk pin and co. Trademark three A's, established 1790. Wow, I don't know if the bottle's like that old, but that's a pretty old company. It's got Newcastle and Gateshead written on cool 7788. Cool bottle, I like that one. I think I found that one actually. That's a greenish, dark green coloured bottle. Doesn't look like it's got any words in that one. Though. It's a good job I put that there because. The chair would have been manky. Now this one is really cool. Brill cream. I know the lid's in a bit bad condition, but brill cream? <laughs> That's totally brill. Oh god, bad pun. And it's got some stuff on the bottom as well. It's got R-A-G-D, D-S-J-N, 621, some weird shape, 7, 8, 5, 9, 1, 9, 4. I think some of my bottles are actually missing because I used to have a lot more jam jars. I don't know where they went. This one's got silver crin written on. I don't know if that's some kind of medicine or perfume or something. It's a pretty snazzy font. Silver cream. And I think that says one or two on the bottom. He has a sauce bottle with a really bad condition top, but you can actually read this one, which is amazing. I don't think I've ever read this. GWS Middle on Junction. It's a pretty cool picture on the front. Now this bottle is awesome because it's got a handle as well. Look at it. It's obviously been used for more and something. Pretty cool. It's got no words or anything on it. That's awesome. And a jam jar with an like M on the bottom. He has a bottle which hasn't been washed very well. <laughs> and that's got BVPL written on the bottom. I don't know what that's been. I like the top though, it's an interesting shape. He has a very dark bottle and it doesn't appear to have any words on, but it's a very big bottle as you can tell. That's obviously had a lot of wine in. Someone's had a really good time and got very drunk. If you're watching this, 200 year old person who drank out this bottle and found your bottle. <laughs> 200 year old. <laughs> That's a cool shaped bottle. I like these rectangular ones. I especially love the bottom look. The texture at the bottom it's got A513, then a dash and a 5, then UGB written on. I wonder if the GB stands for Great Britain. Must do. That could have been a sauce bottle or a medicine bottle. I don't know. That would have been a lot of medicine. Raised for a very ill person. Here's a cool looking bottle. This one looks more like a beer bottle or a long hat bottle or something. And it's got written on the bottom 075. 075, that's it. That's a cool looking dog brown bottle. This looks like it could have been a medicine bottle as well. I wonder if a specific type of bottle has that pattern underneath. It's got KX3 written on. It's something else which I can't read, but you can see it well on the camera, so I'll just let you guys read it. <laughs> it's a good job that huge splodge didn't end up on the thing. Is this so far right? Oh god, it's leaking through. Yeah, I'll wash it. Silpin! It's in the last Silpin bottle. I wonder if Silpin's an old beer or something. Or maybe that's the company and it's just a little product by them. It's just like a short version. They know six written on the bottle. Coming out in the last few bottles now. Here's in the last sauce bottle. Cool. Got in the last square bottle. Ooh, or sauce. I've heard of horse sauce, but I don't think they exist anymore. I've heard of them though. He has a huge bottle and a heavy bottle as well. Whoa, it's got like a very deep bass <laughs> to speak out. Boom, 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 deep bass. He has a little guy, hasn't got any rating on, but that's pretty cool. Obviously been a little beer bottle of some sort. And last but not least, we've got the big clear wine bottle. It doesn't look like it's got any rating on the bottom, but that's pretty cool. I like the air. Uh, the next kind of like a bulbous shape. There you have it. That's my bottle collection. I used to have a lot more bottles, but yes, I think some of them have been smashed up, but there's quite a few bottles left. All those bottles were dug by me, my dad, neighbours, cool people. And I'm sure there's a lot more bottles there still to find. If you haven't already, check out the video in the description. As in that video, I'm actually going to the site where I found the bottles. 
and it's the first time I've been in like seven years. And I'm talking about my story of how I found the bottles in the first place, which is pretty cool. So check that video out. And yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment if you think you know what the bottles are, because that would be very helpful. And I'm still not giving away the location of the bottle site. I will for a thousand pound. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching and goodbye. See you later.